Recently, Muslim girls were banned from wearing hijab in the government colleges in Karnataka. The question is whether the Muslim Ummah will still remain silent against this tyranny of Brahman imperialism in India. Hello, this is Bakhtavar Mahmood and you're watching White News. The attack on a college girl wearing hijab by the upper caste extremist Brahman Hindus in India has now become a global trend on social media. India is currently ruled by the extremist Hindu party BJP, which is the political wing of the terrorist Hindu organization Rashtra Swayam Sevak Sangh and Bajrang Dal. The BJP and Rashtra Swayam Sevak Sangh are greatly influenced by a Hindu leader named Vinayak Damodar Sarvakar, who used to secretly work for the Britain before the partition. Vinayak Damodar Savakar used to believe that since Muslims of the subcontinent had enslaved Hindus for a thousand years, hence it's perfectly permissible to rape Muslim women as a political weapon. The PJP government has been taking various measures against Muslims to avenge this thousand years of slavery. Recently, Muslim girls were banned from wearing hijab in the government colleges in Karnataka. They are saying only one thing, if you want to join the class, remove your hijab, then okay. come and sit in our class. class. To avoid the probable retaliation from the Muslim women over this, armed groups of Rashtra Swayam Sevak Sangh and Bajrang Dal started harassing Muslim women in different colleges so that the Muslim women could not raise their voice against this oppression. But a Muslim girl wearing hijab named Muskan raised the slogan of Allah Akbar, Allah is the greatest in front of the armed Hindu groups and demonstrated before the entire world that a self-proclaimed largest democracy in the world has already laid the groundwork for its further division. In a viral video on social media, it can be clearly seen that a black burqa clad student riding a scooter reaches PS College Bangalore. And as she walks towards the building, a group of hundreds of Hindu Brahmins waving saffron shawls chanting the slogan of Jai Shri Ram starts harassing her. In response, the student chanted Allah Akbar and said it in the local language. Don't we have the right to wear hijab? After being harassed, the hijab-wearing college student in Karnataka said that her priority is her education. But owing to a mere piece of clothing, they are depriving us of our right to education. They start uh, shouting and start giving the slogan as Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. Then I started to scream as Allahu Akbar. The question is whether the Muslim Ummah will still remain silent against this tyranny of Brahman imperialism in India. Will more than 50 Muslim countries in the Middle East and the world not do anything to protect their Muslim sisters in India from the terrorists of Rashtram Safe Saving Sangh? Have these Muslims countries forgotten that one day they have to die and they shall be asked how come they were engaged in trade with the Hindu Brahmins right when the hijabs of Muslim women were being taken off in India. At that time, these Muslim women will sham the Muslim ladies, snatching them by their collars and asking, when you had the power and you could have saved our honor, why did you choose to remain silent? <laughs> Let the entire Muslim Ummah pledge today that if the Brahman imperialism of India does not stop its atrocious acts, then the 56 Muslim countries of the world together will teach them a lesson which will be remembered for the next 5,000 years.